There she is, lads. I tell you, that's some pitch. It is. Packy Sheridan Community Park, home of Cullen's GA Club. Packy Sheridan would have been proud of it. He would. I tell you something, lads. God made the world, but I made that pitch, boy. Mr. Clancy? Just calling with the rent for the field. Thank you, Mr. Clancy. I was just wondering, Mrs. Gilhooley, would you be interested in selling it? I don't approve of athletic activity, Mr. Clancy, Gaelic or otherwise. Sweaty young men cavorting semi-naked with their balls in their hands every second Sunday. Sunday, Mr. Clancy, Sunday! I know, but... Robert it was who began this renting arrangement, and I kept it up in his memory. I am not in the habit of repeating myself, but if I had my way, you and your bunch, a ball-hopping yahoos, wouldn't get within an ass's roar of that field. I know, but... The matter, Mr Clancy, is closed! She's as hard as thorny wire, that one. I bet she is, and more. Ah, oh, but that was before I turned on the other damn the man charm. And? Like putty in my hands, boys. Like putty in my hands. Is she going to sell it? The field? In fairness to you now, she didn't say she would sell it. I'm not in the habit of repeating myself, says she. But I'm in the process of reviewing my... Property portfolio. My property portfolio. What's a portfolio? <laughs> What's a portfolio? What's a portfolio? <laughs> you loser, yeah. Go ahead, a portfolio, then. <clears throat> well, I must away and strain the spots. Morning to you, officer. How can I help? Where's the rest of it? I beg your pardon? The cow. I mean, is this all there is? Yeah, it is a bit small. Small? I'm surprised there isn't a handle for carrying it. I love the way she says that. What? I love the way the widow of Hibby says, I'm not in the habit of repeating myself. I'm not in the habit of repeating myself. I am not in the habit of repeating myself. <laughs> That's it. I love that. Mr. Walsh. Yes, ma'am. What can I, I get? am not in the habit of drinking strong liquor, as you well know. But for the day that's in it, I think I'll have a small sherry. I'm given to understand, Mr. Walsh, that you have an auctioneer's license. Well, you're half right. I hold auctions. Very good. I have decided to put the field up for public auction. You mean dance pitch? I think you'll find, Mr. Higgins, that the field belongs to me. Public auction, Mr. Walsh, to the highest bidder. That'll be 280. Yeah, bag. You just missed the widow. Gilhooley. Mm, she's selling the pitch. To the highest bidder. Huh, that's fair enough. Everyone knows it's my pitch. Sure, who bid against me? Oh, you're the Dan, you're the Dan, you're the Dan. The batteries. Where did it go in? It runs on gas. Gas? Petrol. And how many pints does it take? They might be outsiders. At the auction. Outsiders? Yeah. Would these be the same outsiders that dobbed our dressing room with cow shite after the under 14 final? Ah, oh, damn. Would these be the same outsiders that robbed two bales of hay out of Pat Murtis' bottom field? The same outsiders that filled our river with lime and slurry and left us without a trout evermore? Trouble between us and the rammer boys is over. Over? It's over because I drove them out. Me and my kind. You did? Now, the widow will get her money, and the priest is Easter Jews. A pint for every man here. Good man to Dan! Look, officer, can we move things along here? I'm on a tight schedule. 
Can I interest you in a pair of furry handcuffs? Furry handcuffs? Handcuffs. I get you. I know this routine. Will 20 bucks cover? So for 20 bucks you get two pairs. Well, 8,338 euro. That's all the money the club has. Surely that'll be enough. Between me and you, the reserve is 5,000. God bless the work. Father, will you have something? No, Jaxie, not today. I just dropped in to see if there's a music session on tomorrow evening. Of course. Patsy McHugh and the Mulligan Triplets. Every Thursday. Great. Listen, I be Ian coming up to the parochial house tomorrow. He's a few bob to spend judging by the sounds of his letter. He's mad into the music, so I promise him a bit of a session. So we all see you tomorrow evening. Hey, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, okay, right. Oh yeah, and don't forget about the committee meeting here tonight for the new radio station. Aye. Oh, yeah. oh, yes. oh, yeah. radio station. Well, there's an old saying, keep it simple, so what about Muller Community Radio? What about the lineup? Yeah, there was a good response to the posters you put, Father. Dieter will do a uh, current affairs programme. Maybe we should have that after midnight. <laughs> Might cure the insomniacs. Pat Connors will do a morning show. And Mrs Gilhooley will look after religion. God, in the afternoon, it's going to be cold. Nurse Maloney, uh, what are you going to call your programme? I was thinking the nice nurse. Well, that would be a fairly appropriate title. <laughs> <laughs> but here, we still need to convince Dan Clancy to do a press programme. A few film reviews, a bit of culture. Oh, Dan Clancy. Culture. You get more culture in a tub of yoghurt. I know Mrs. Gilhooley. He has every Roger Whittaker album. MCR. Muller Community Radio. You shut your mouth, Larry. <laughs> I suppose you'll be insisting on doing the grand opening yourself. Well, you'll not be doing it anywhere, come on. <laughs> There's one fly in the ointment, so to speak. That Theo Whitmore fella wants to do a poem of the day. Willie, the function of the radio station is to bring people together. And are you going to sit through eight hours of the idiot, Father? I didn't realise. Well, that's it. We're all agreed. We'll make sure that Theo's not in the air, so therefore we can't lose any listeners that we don't have. Agreed? Agreed. 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 Who dance with the nurse Maloney? Jesus Christ, lads. Nurse Maloney's on the tear again. This could be our big night, Timmy. Not near man enough to dance with the nurse Maloney. Hope you go, Timmy. Now's your chance. You're all afraid, nurse Maloney. I'll dance with you. I'll dance with the nurse Maloney. Now, what am I bid for this field? Three acres, two goalposts. Hi, Jackson. Hi, Jackson. Three acres, two goalposts, and a dressing room. Now, who'll start me off? There must be some interest in this field. Ah, for feck's sake, lads. 4,999 euro. 4,999 euros from Jimmy. Any advance in 4,999. Do I hear 5,000? Going once, going twice. Five thousand. Five thousand from Dan to Man Clancy. All done at five thousand. You're the Dan, you're the Dan. <laughs> five thousand. Going once, going twice. Six thousand. What? Six thousand dollars. Euros. Whatever. Six thousand from the man with the toy car. Six thousand it is so. Six thousand. Going once. Going twice. Have you a license? What? Have you a license? An auctioneering license? You know very well, Dick. I don't. This auction is in violation of Section 3, Paragraph 9 of the Auctioneering Act of 1894. 
I hereby declare it null and void. What's that mean? It means it never happened. And this is an illegal gathering. Clear the streets. Off with you. Time for a pint. Good idea. And these are yours, by the way. At the end of the day, it's only an old field. Only a field? God forgive you, Father. Only a field? Twas this one time we were marking the pitch. The father and myself, the mother was helping. She was in one corner flag and I was in the other. A bag of lime burst, keeled over, so to speak. The mother was covered in it. Father said, fetch a cloth. And I said, no, we'll hang the nets first. We'll hang the nets first. Father looked at me with a tear of pride in his eye and he knew, he knew I'd look after that bitch. Ah, no, Dan. And if you think I'm going to meet my mother in heaven or in hell without that bitch, you have another thing coming. <clears throat> you wouldn't have a drop of water, Father, if an awful dryness in me throat. Dan, here to my house. Dan, on his deathbed, my father told me that he wanted to return to his ancestral parish to bestow a gift. Well, the dice never fell right for Pops. He never got to fulfill his dreams. So I have. Dan, I'm proud to present the field to Cacullin's GAA Football Club. The field is yours. It's your pitch. Now go play ball. Dan! What the fuck? This calls for a celebration. <laughs>